Hello and welcome. In this video segment, I'm going to present an overview about CATIA user interface to describe the interface elements for the P2 platform of CATIA. So let's get started. When you start CATIA for the first time, the main window does not take up the, the entire desktop display. You have the freedom to display the session at full screen or customize the window to take up as much of the display as you like. Like other Windows applications, you can expand the CATIA window using the Maximize icon on the right side of the title bar. You can also move the Graphics window and the Dialogs with respect to the main window. The window configuration from your last CATIA session is saved when you exit and is automatically retrieved the next time you start a CATIA session. The graphics window displays the part geometry and the specification tree. You can maximize or minimize the graphics window using the window controls in the top right corner. If the graphics window is not maximized, you can resize it by dragging the edges. CATIA refers to its different applications as workbenches. The workbench you select determines the software tools available to you. The drafting workbench, for example, contains all the tools you use to create drawings. The workbenches available depend on what licenses or CATIA configurations you have. You can enter a workbench by selecting Start and then the workbench name. The current workbench displays as an icon on the workbench toolbar which initially displays near the top right corner of the graphics window. You can use the workbench toolbar to change the workbench at any time. The menu bar contains a list of the available functions. Each menu displays a list of commands. A command is unavailable if it displays in gray. In the edit menu, for instance, cut and copy are currently unavailable. Some menus have submenus listing commands with common functionality. A small triangle to the right of the menu option indicates a submenu. Toolbars allow you to customize your personal workspace. Each toolbar contains icons that you can click to activate commands. If you hold your cursor over an icon, the command name displays as a tooltip. You can define the toolbars you need and locate them anywhere on your desktop, either docked to the CATIA window or floating anywhere in the screen. Some toolbars have additional icons that are located on flyouts. A small triangle below the icon indicates a flyout. Clicking this small triangle expands the toolbar and displays the hidden icons. When you change workbenches, the visible toolbars change to reflect the different available commands. CATIA displays important information about selections and steps in the status bar. It is important to pay attention to the status bar in order to monitor the item or types of items you need to select or pick next. Most of the commands you use in CATIA open a dialog. Dialogs contain all the options and settings for the command. The buttons at the bottom are common for all dialogs. Click OK to apply the command and close the dialog. Click Cancel to close the dialog without executing the command. When it is present, Apply executes the command but leaves the dialog open so that you can use it again. Preview shows a preview of the feature in the graphics window. Most dialogs have a More button. Clicking More displays additional options that you need for more advanced uses of the command. When you finish editing a text box within a dialog, you want to avoid the Enter key. Often, you have several entries to make in a single dialog, and pressing the Enter key not only completes the entry, into the text box, it effectively clicks the OK button, completing the action and closing the dialog. 
You will eliminate some frustration if you get into the habit of using the tab key when you are finished editing a text box. Only use the enter key when you are ready to execute the action. The specification tree displays a hierarchical view of the elements in the model. This information includes the parts feature history, parameters, and curve geometry. You can use the specification tree to quickly edit a model by selecting elements to edit from the list. You can scroll the specification tree when it grows longer than the window and even zoom in and out from it. You can also hide the specification tree by clicking F3 on keyboard and you can show again in similar way. That completes this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.